We present a method for autonomous exploring and scanning an indoor scene by a mobile robot holding an RGBD camera. The key idea is to guide the robot's movement with a geometry-aware directional field, computed based on the reconstructed scene. During the exploratory scanning, the guidance field is continuously updated with the progressively acquired scene geometry. A smooth driving path for the robot is generated by particle advection over the field. Along the robot path, a 3D trajectory is computed for the RGBD camera mounted in the robot's hand to maximally cover the unobserved scene regions. The final goal of our system is an efficient, high quality, and as complete as possible reconstruction of the indoor scene. Our method interleaves three major components over time. Given the current reconstruction, we first project the scene geometry onto the floor plane, forming the geometric constraint for computing a guidance field. Then, a 2D tensor field is computed, based on the tangential constraint directions along the boundaries of 2D projection. The robot movement is guided by the tensor field through 2D path advection over the field. The topology of the tensor field reflects the structural layout of the indoor scene, making it especially suitable for global path planning. Based on the topological graph, the robot can be directed to the regions where the scanning and reconstruction is complete or uncertain. In contrast to vector fields, which are predominantly used in the literature, tensor fields have several preferable features. First, tensor fields contain much fewer singularities than vector fields, such as potential fields or gradient fields. Singularities should be avoided as much as possible since they can cause ambiguity and discontinuity in the computed robot paths. In addition, unlike vector fields that contain sinks, tensor fields are sink-free. Sink points suggest local minima, which are undesirable in robot guidance. These features make tensor fields less ambiguous, especially suited for robot guidance. This is because that tensor fields are orientation-free everywhere. At any position, it does not distinguish between forward and backward. This avoids the problem of vector orientation in computing vector fields. Starting from any position in a tensor field, a smooth robot path can be generated by advecting a particle over the field. Since the tensor fields are formed with the constraints of surface tangents, the advected paths are inherently obstacle avoiding. There are two types of degenerate points in a tensor field, namely wedge and trisector. We take different strategies to handle degenerated points in robot guidance. Around a wedge point, the robot path would make a sharp turn or even U-turn. To avoid shaking of the camera caused by such sudden movement, we reduce the moving speed of the robot when approaching the wedge and smoothly turn the robot and the camera into new directions. At path bifurcation caused by a trisector, we choose the branch that may direct the robot to regions with higher uncertainty of scanning and reconstruction. The topology of a tensor field, represented by its degenerate points and the separatrix lines connecting them, conforms to the topology of the scene being scanned. Here is a visual comparison between the field topology and the medial axis of the scene boundary. This field topology can be used for global guidance of autonomous scanning. Here, we show how the topology-based path routing efficiently directs the robot to a remote region with missing data. This global planning effectively resolves the issue of local minimum trap. Based on the robot path, a 3D camera trajectory is computed, respecting the kinematic constraint between the robot base and the robot hand. Here, we show more sequences of our auto-scanning system at work. Here, we show the reconstruction results obtained by our system. To demonstrate the generality of our method, we also implemented and tested our method on an alternative robot platform. In other words, a turtle bot mounted with a fixed forward looking depth camera. In this test, the computation of camera trajectory was disabled and only the field guidance was tested. Although without camera control, our system can still achieve a good scene coverage with quality reconstruction thanks to the smooth guidance field. Thank you.